Broncos! <laughs> Go Broncos. <laughs> what day is it, Steve? It's Monday. There's only one more NFL game to start the year, and it is Broncos at Seahawks. Russell Wilson going back to Seattle to whoop their butts. Mm-hmm. What he said. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Go Broncos! Hey, everybody. We're Happy Art Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. We rehome stuff. Yes, and we are empty nesters. Yep. And we work for ourselves, and we do what we want. You work for me, I thought. I work for her, and that, she works for kidding. herself. No, I'm just and, kidding. That's not true. We do what we want, and so since we do what we want, sometimes that means if we want to just take off and do something, we can. What that means is we can put family first. Yes. Yeah. So over the weekend, we had a invitation for a birthday party. If you're familiar with the channel and you've watched the channel, you've heard the name Cora more than once. Cora May. Um, she had a birthday party. She had a third birthday party. Actually, today is her actual third birthday. Happy but she had birthday, a, baby girl. Yes, but she had a third birthday party. And we got an invitation. And the only problem is that it is was 12 hours away in Arkansas. It still is. <laughs> it still is 12 hours away in Arkansas. They have not moved. It's still 12 hours. So away. going into the week, we were going to... Okay, I say we were going to mail them a gift, but all along we talked about just going and surprising them. It was them. our super secret. Yeah. So we decided, the heck with it, let's go. Uh, Donna's mom lives about halfway there. So on the way down, we went halfway. And then we went and we made it to the birthday party when it started at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Woo, yeah. And then we took... I didn't do much in the helping drive category. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a very good driver. She falls asleep like instantly. When... I'm a good driver if I could stay awake. Yes, yeah. But it puts me asleep. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we went to Arkansas to surprise uh, Cora and her parents on her birthday party. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did. We went down there. We went to the birthday party for a couple hours. We stayed a couple hours and visited. And then we started heading back and got a hotel. And we got back yesterday afternoon. So and mini vacation. Yeah, it was great. We thrifted a little bit. But we did have a few interesting things at this thrift store, and so we thought we would share them and a clip of uh, Donna being mean to me in Walmart while shopping for Cora's birthday present. <laughs> oh, goodness. But we got a few clips to show. This thing would be a very long video, and then we have a few what sold, so... Let's get started. Check this out, and here we go. This is a fun story at Hillcrest Thrift Store by Kansas City on the interstate. Come across this nice Tommy Bahama quarter zip. But unfortunately, it's $40.50. Crazy, right? So I thought that's nuts. And then I scroll two over. Look here. Another Tommy Bahama. Quarter zip. Looks clean. I don't see any stains or anything. $7.50. I will be taking you with me. Also found this pretty cool Budweiser Destinations pullover. $14.50. It's really nice, but unfortunately, it's not worth much. We'd actually lose money. You can get these for about $10 to $15 online. If I wouldn't have looked that up, I might think I could make some money, but nope. Very cool, though. I'm finding, finding some really cool stuff here, but it's just too expensive. Like this right here. Brand new with tags. It's a Columbia PFG with the Florida Gators emblem, but they want... 2250 so cool stuff just too expensive here's a brand new Coleman extra large fishing shirt uh, but that 1850 yeah it's not gonna work for me but they're very cool 
Very nice stuff. This is a Chaps 550. If it was half off day. That'd be uh, some things to buy, but this is nice. 650 Tommy Hilfiger pink button down. A little emblem down there. I will take a look at that and see if that's worth it. Probably not, but we'll check it out. Yeah, honestly, only about a 10% sell through rate on that, so it's not worth it. But this is very cool. If it was my size, I'd rock that baby. And this is how it always works. I find one or two things. There's Donna. The cart full of stuff to look up. Find anything good, Donna? I'm looking up this little guy. He is a build bear. Yeah. Little hair. She just throws a lot of things in the cart and then looks them all up. I kind of look as I go. So, see if she found anything. Another ab roller. Five bucks. I can't turn that down. This is pretty cool. Yamaha xylophone with case and stand and everything. Pretty cool. I don't think it's worth flipping at $125, but it's a really neat item. You don't see that every day. We'll keep looking. All right, we just left the thrift store and we got a few things. Paid $20, $21 total. The best thing though was the ab roller. The ab roller I'll sell for price $60, uh, but the price is there on most things. And I got a Bob Marley cup and um, some yarn to finish a project. Yeah, and then the Tommy Bahama shirt. I think that'll be about $25. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of rough. They had really nice like track shoes, a whole bunch of them, really, really good condition but they wanted 35 dollars each for those so obviously that's why they still have a whole whole bunch of them <laughs> uh it's just a little disappointing you but know it's a good high, place high prices, to buy but... things if you need them for personal use it's less than if you were to go to the store so anyway we on down the road i was gonna tell you a quick story we stopped at the garage sale before we got here and they had a gar uh, golf club bag for five dollars and i thought i don't want a golf club doll Golf club. <laughs> Golf club bag. I don't need that. But inside of it was an Odyssey white hot putter. It wasn't new or anything, but it was it was in good condition. So I took it out of the bag. He said, how much for the putter? And they said, it's $5 for everything. And then instead of just buying the whole thing, he says, well, I just want the putter. And the lady came over and said, well, let me see the putter. Oh, no, I want to keep that. You can buy the bag. Yeah. Then she wouldn't sell me the putter and... It wasn't supposed to be in there. I'm keeping that. I should have just bought the bag. I could have literally thrown the bag away and had the putter or for five bucks. Or sold it bucks, on dollar. But yeah, or sold it on dollar. But yeah. So lesson learned. Next time, just buy the bag. <laughs> yep. So anyway, we're going to, if we see another garage sale, we might go hit another one. But otherwise, we're going to keep on trucking down the road. Yeah, here we go. All right, so that is the clips of our thrifting. We <laughs> want to be videotaping some more and showing you some stuff we find. Yeah. Um, so we'll work on that. We'll try to do better. Then on the way, we did stop. It was kind of the plan all along to get Cora a birthday present. I found Cora a perfect birthday present. <laughs> but Donna wouldn't let me buy it because Donna's mean to me. And I really love Chris and Amy. <laughs> they would have loved it. Mm. So anyway, here's our footage from Donna not letting me buy Cora the birthday present I wanted to buy her. Donna's shopping for a three-year-old gift, and I already found one, but she won't let me buy it. It's not. Yes. Oh, we're getting a baby. I think, I think baby Cora needs this. That'd be great. This is, this is perfect for a three-year-old. Don't you think, Chris and Amy? Donna won't let me get it, though. I think this is what Cora needs. But whatever. Don is mean to me. I know. And won't let me buy a drum set for Cora. You know what? You can get it for your sale. <laughs> it's too small for me. It would have been perfect, right? What three year old baby girl doesn't need a electronic drum set? From the same uncle that got her a 
rock and roll. Oh yeah, last year was a rock and roll guitar <clears throat> made made noise guitar. And when she, <laughs> we went down for the uh, shower. You also sent a rock and roll outfit. Remember my my something about rock. I don't remember, but I believe it. That's for sure. You don't remember? I don't know. My memory's bad. Okay, I have pictures. <laughs> okay. We made it to the party. We got there right before 10 o'clock when the party started. And we didn't film at the party because there was a lot of people, a lot of kids, kids a lot and... of other adults and stuff, you know, that we didn't know. So we certainly didn't want to be like, hey, we're going to film all this and put it on YouTube. So we didn't film, but Donna did get the setup. It was an under the sea theme. Yeah. So an ocean theme. And it was, there was a lot of decorations. It was really, really cool. Really, really well done. Check out the snacks. Um, Cora and Chris and Amy were, and Marcel and Angela were obviously very shocked to see us. It was a good surprise. I think it was great. But Donna did take some pictures of like this, the decorations, the snacks and stuff. And then we do have a few photos that we took during the during the party too. So that was a very fun, yeah. very fun birthday party. We had a great time. And I have video of her on the tricycle. And we have video of her on her new tricycle that she got. Yeah. Here's that video. Cora, you got a new bicycle. Tricycle. Good job. And of course, Chris and Amy, obviously, they agreed that we could post this, so we didn't. They know this is coming. Yeah. Um, and then we visited for a while, and then we took off, and we made it about halfway through Oklahoma before we stopped and got a hotel, and we watched the Nebraska Cornhusker game, <gasps> and it was such a good game, it was such a close game, unfortunately, and they did lose in the end, and so we watched that, and that was exhausting. So then we crashed. <laughs> Um, and then we drove home yesterday and unfortunately all of us in Nebraska wanted it to work out, but Scott Frost, the head coach got fired yesterday. It is what it is. And so that made the trip home much easier for me to drive because I had all the local sports talk radio I could listen to for all the latest details. Conversation about but, football. Yeah. Yeah. We talked <clears throat> football a lot on the way home and it was good though. Donna was interested too. And it was good. You know, everybody wanted Scott Frost to work out and it just didn't and so now we move on and there's still nine more games in the season so we'll see what they can do well, with those and it's nine exciting games. for the boys so we'll we'll see how they yeah but they end up today playing. let's show it's denver them broncos so... day oh so first denver broncos so first day. denver broncos day before we get back to husker day next weekend anyway <laughs> i'm rambling because i love football let's and show we some. have a few what solds we're going to show you too uh, but not a lot. We didn't do anything with the. We were we were gonna take pictures and list things, you know, each day while we were gone. Yeah, that didn't and happen. And <laughs> it didn't happen. We didn't get enough done ahead of time to make that happen. So we really just let everything sit. We let everything sit we here had a locally. Vacation. Yeah. 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 We didn't we didn't do anything, and so we didn't have a lot of sales, but we did have sales. We did yeah. have. I think 18, 19 things to ship out this morning. Half of them were clothes and shoes. So yeah. that's really picking up. I'm guessing it's, you know, mid September changes the seasons, but like. School time, fall time. Yeah. Half of them mm -hmm. are clothes and shoes, which are really easy to ship out. So I yeah. am totally good with that. And we have a whole wall full of clothes to sell out, Behind out us. too. Okay. There's a couple of cassettes downstairs I left down there, but mm -hmm. um, here we go. Donna, what'd you sell this weekend? A vintage tea towel and it's I thought this one had a sticker on it it does not still have a sticker on it but it came from the one of the estate buyouts we did and that sold for nine dollars plus shipping and then Pipsy what are these called? Pip Pipsy Woggins 1995 and she cute gnome or gome it's a gnome. Look at <laughs> the gnome. Look at her little feet. Gnome. It's a gnome. He's saying it wrong because. No, no, no I'm just being funny. He's just. <laughs> yeah. See. I'm looking for my gomes. Anyway, she's cute. So how much does she sell <laughs> she for? Sold for? She's numbered. Twelve dollars and seventy-one cents. She and sold this for. is a friend. We're selling for a friend. Yep. And then this was from a garage sale, I believe. A uh, garage sale for one dollar. 
Uh huh. And it is an egg cooker, Tupperware egg cooker. Uh, and that sold for twelve ninety nine. This is from another garage sale. That was a dollar fifty you paid. And he is a Flurryville collection. He's a singing cowboy. He has a name. What's his name? Snowdrift Sam, the singing snowman. And he sold for twenty one dollars and twenty four cents. Kind of looks like a Jim Shore piece, but it's not. Kind of, it's yeah. It's a Flurryville. Never heard of Flurryville. Uh, you saw this recently. We got this on Bargains for You on 92. One Up Mushroom Super Mario Waffle Maker. That's fun, right? So it makes it in the shape of the mushroom, huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it does. Do the. Yeah. It's so, a pancake. Waffle. I guess it's a waffle. Waffle, whatever. Okay. Pancake, waffle. It's a breakfast maker. Breakfast maker. And we got the garage sale for $2.50 and it sold for $29.99 plus nice. shipping. And then just the last thing, this is the last thing, last thing we're going to show you. Um, these are really, really cool. Donna did great with these. She oh, bought thanks. a whole box full of these and there's only one left after this. These are the little corn husk dolls and um, I had one when I was little. It wasn't this, this big, but. Uh, they're made out of corn husks and I believe their hair is also made out of the silk from the corn and this one is a baker with a pie and got her for you got her for one dollar and she sold for $24.99 plus shipping these corn husk dolls that are um, selling well underneath they have an actual tag can you see the tag right there uh, from the maker, and so you can tell. Oh, my glasses on. 1989. V uh, there's a heart in this. Is Nans. N -A -N -S. Nans. They're Nans. Yeah. Uh, Cornhouse dolls. So. So those have been awesome. There's a box. Yeah, we have one left, and then those will be gone. But okay. Donna did great with that find. Oh, thanks. Um, so yeah, that's it. We just wanted to share with you our weekend. It was. Uh, it was fabulous. You know, it was honestly, it was what 24 hours of driving for a two-hour birthday party it was worth it and it was worth it we had yes. so much fun and got to see my mom on the way and got to see our arkansas family yep and had yeah, some and time with him in the in the van and the look on Cora. their face when we showed up and even cora was just like stunned like what are you doing here like, like i know you but who are you like, what the heck <laughs> um it was well worth it so we and you know we got away we got got away just spend some time on the road, not worrying about work, because we do work a lot. Yeah. Um, seems like there's never enough time in the day, but it was great. We had a nice little mini vacation, so now we got a lot going on this week. Yep, got to um, get to it. But we got it, yeah. Somebody's got uh, football evenings. <laughs> That's right. We got a lot going on this week, so uh, <laughs> we're going to get to work. I'm going to ship all these things out, and I'm going to make this video and put it out in... I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the week holds. I'm sure something will happen. Something will come up that we'll have stuff to show you. So, Will we'll, it be out today? This? Yeah, we'll get this out today. Today, Monday. That's the plan. The plan. Here's the deal. If you're watching this and it just came out and it's Monday, then that was the plan. If you're watching this and it just came out and it's Tuesday, that's because I didn't get it done before football started. <laughs> no, he will get it done today because <laughs> this is Cora's actual birthday. Oh, it's that's Monday, true. So, and she's actually three today. Yes. So happy birthday again, Cora. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, that's it for now. But anyway, thanks for watching. We will uh, probably, you'll probably see us later this week or this weekend again. Yep. Um, this weekend is Highlands Garage Sales. That's where we live. So <gasps> oh, I want to record maybe. I don't want to record in the neighborhood. Oh. I'd rather, if we're going to start recording, okay. rather than not do it in a neighborhood. They already think we're weird enough. Well, we Going are. Around with the camera on, they're really going to be thinking <laughs> okay. we're weird. She did. She did this. I did this. She did this. Like, hurry okay, up, wrap it up. Come on, let's wrap it up. Well, go ahead, wrap it up. I'm Donna. <laughs> well, you are wrapping it up like right to the very end. You, I don't know. You're not even going to tell them to please like and subscribe. Oh, I forgot. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. Like and subscribe. <laughs> we, Click the bell for notifications. I did that backwards. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Art Treasures. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
It's 4.52 in the morning. It's 4.52 in the morning. Where are you going? Hi. We're going to see baby. She's not a baby no more. She's three. We're going to see Cora. Happy birthday, Cora. All right. 4.51, sorry. Let's go. Let's go.